I'm Sam Cook, West Baltimore. J. Mike, aka Sacho. Boy, Air Rex, spell it the way it sounds. Started getting caught in copping duchess. This after lunch is to half a blunt that would knock us out before we passed out. The fast route, the only way to get my thoughts out. Default being ab, normal to what they had. Formal until I'm mad enough and nothing never stop this. Well, unless the cops watch this, cause we fit the description. To get the encryption of a kid on that mission. To figure we kings, nigga, we all Egyptian. This the raw assistance. I started rapping the same way everybody else do poetry first. And then you just get a you get a liking for the, the rap, so it just happened that way. What made you get into poetry? I just like writing. I always did. So what sparks you to write? <laughs> all right, all right, we, here we go. All right, I used to, because <laughs> the questions I get you, I get you, look, look. I used to, like, draw cartoons. That's what I really wanted to be. I wanted to be an animator. So I used to draw comics and shit like that. So just naturally, I just enjoy writing stories and shit, so. I for believing a non-achiever was a non-bleeder. But now you get blood, sweat, tears, every feature, nigga. You better beware, crying wolf never relied on a hook. If I force my new will, that's little riding hood. We trying to make it out, be non-existent. It's hard to miss them when you're never usually in the picture. This for my people with the peephole vision, peak no more. Uh, you can't resist the raw resistance, the poise. Well, I started uh, with beats in ninth grade. What, did, what year was that? Probably like 2005. So just making beats. Then, you know, eventually listening to other rappers, I'm going to like, eventually try to like jot down raps and learn. I used to like write down certain artists like Drake and... That was like the first artist I actually like would say was a favorite. So I would like start learning most of his verses, just in the house rapping. <laughs> Eventually, I mean, write my own raps. Okay. So that's how that came about. When did you hear hip hop? <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, let me rephrase. Well, no, I know hip hop, but okay. I was just really focused on the beats. Oh, like, okay. I, I, I grew up Eminem, all them, you know. Right. But. Never hit the scene, but I'm now seen, so I'm that King Cole. Y'all niggas ain't seen raw, cold city, I'm about to defrost Leap off on my edge, young eye shot from the feds, one more dead Now you wanna ride, nigga? Ain't you getting tired, nigga? Too late, now you're so dead, but that lean ain't bring it back, I niggas uh, Never seen flows like this one More shots like Smithins, Pistons, 89 Pistons Spliff twin sister, sister, lift your ass up off this system Raw in the midst of effect We could be here all day for real Um, I really got started around like like middle school for real and it just started off of like uh i used to listen to, to a lot of like paul wall snoop and uh don't judge me my man young jock <laughs> and i heard they back then they like they kind of inspired me or whatever so i was like man i could i could do this if they could do it i could do it too so i mean from then i started rapping then i got into like a rap battle now nah, i took an l but now i kind of faded back for a minute so i was like I, then i met I always knew, always knew them, but I met them in like, uh, we, we linked back up in like 12th grade. And then from that point on, we was like, man, we should rap. Then we all started rapping. And then it just kind of kind of took off from there. You feel me? All right, um, how do we get here? How do we come together as a group? How did this happen? I was on Instagram. I posted, I posted a 14 second rap video on Instagram. And this nigga said, yo, come to the studio. The next day I was raw, you in closed fist. And then right, that's, that's like a year ago, right? A year ago, and we dropped a mixtape. We dropped what, like four mixtapes since then, four or five. But yeah, niggas recruited me. And we moving, you know what I mean? Yeah, the uh, the projects out now. Like we got the group ones and solo projects. Like the the first group one was called the Raw Resistance. That's on SoundCloud and YouTube. Then the solos, I had the Porch View. Yeah, he got multiple. He got the waivers, summer nights and forties, and time. And right now, the uh, the second group one gonna come out in October, called Goat Season After Confinement. And uh, oh yeah, um, and I got one coming out in uh in August. It's called Cut. I actually been working on it for like oh, probably like a maybe over a year now, and I've just been trying to be patient about it, patient about dropping it. I think it's the right time to drop it right now, so. I probably dropped that like August, like August 24th for my daughter's birthday. But yeah. Yeah, but we uh as as far as coming together, we uh shout out to my man Zen. He not here right now. He got to work. Dang it, man, but it was me, me, Eric, and uh Zen. And um 
we was all on his front porch. Like I said, we came together like 12th grade, started writing. We was like, man, we could really, we could really be rappers. Of course, back then it was, it was kind of trash. We was trash. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and I would never let y'all hear any of our old stuff. But back then we was on the porch writing, writing, jotting stuff. We were like, man, we need to take this serious. So I went and got some equipment. We made a booth in the closet. <laughs> and from then, it just, it kind of, it kind of got higher. And then. Uh, the the, uh, the other dude, Naja, Chadi, and Close Fist, they came. They was in Florida at the time, so they came down, and we was like, man, we all need to link up for real. So we we came back down. They they brought their music down and whatever, and it was just like we was like, man, we got to step up. So once we we linked up with them, it was like it really took off. We started doing more shows, getting more exposure, and then out of nowhere, like you said, we seen Will on Instagram. We was like, I, I didn't even know this nigga could rap for real. To be honest with you, I didn't. Like it's crazy. I used to listen to their music before I became a part of the the, the closed fisher, and I'm thinking to myself like, damn, I gotta get down with these niggas. Like ironically enough, that shit happened. So it was crazy. Yeah. And then from that point on, it was just like Raw Union was set. It was me, Zen, Sam, and Eric, and it was like, oh, and my man J Rock. Shout out to J Rock too. Another beast on the mic, but he couldn't be here either. Why agree? Why agree? Why being agree? We felt uh, well, I, me personally. I always like the uh, the atmosphere of a group. Like I I, I see groups like uh, like like Wu Tang, groups like uh, N.W.A. Uh, how they how they their presence on the stage is just like so powerful. It's like it's more powerful as a group, right? As a group, if, if a performance feel more powerful as as far as like like one person. If you have one person, it's like kind of like uh, you can, you can rock with them. But if you got a group on stage raging, going off, it make you wanna you know get into it. But I just like the feeling of a group, a group presence, you know. I like the whole, like the structure of the group. Like I like, I like this, this, this background or like just starting from a group or like, cause even if, because we all do our solo thing too. So even if we were to branch off and do something solo, I like this.